so actually everything uh, started 11 million years ago. Oh. Like, Today, ano kami? Green tour. We're going for a private, day. Tour. private tour. Private tour. Day five. Green right? tour. Oh. My name is Ugar, by the way. You Hello. can call me Ugo. 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 And this is our driver Chetin. Hello, Chetin. Hello. So, uh, first we will uh, stop in a panorama point. Okay. Close by, and then I will explain you. Uh, first of all, the geologic history of the area, of course. Uh, and also I will give you information about today's program. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, you will have nice permission. Nice nice you can sit for a while. Let mm -hmm. me explain you some things, thank and then uh, I will give you free time. You can go around, make your photos. Yeah. Kapodokya okay. is uh, firstly special uh, because of the landscape. Okay and uh, these different kind of uh, rock formations. Uh, so actually everything uh, started 11 million years ago. Oh. Uh, there was the first uh, big volcanic eruption. Ah, okay. Uh, but it's, uh, the geologists call them the calderons. So they are, not, uh, they are much bigger than the volcanic eruptions, like mm. maybe hundreds of volcanoes uh, exploding yeah, at yeah. the same time. Oh. So between 11 million years to uh, 5 million years ago, uh, there have been several explosions of the same kind. Uh, the bottom part of this hill is from 11 million years ago, the first explosion. And the top part, greener part, is from the last explosion, like, mm -hmm. which is 5 million years ago. <laughs> oh, wow. So uh, every line shows mm -hmm. another explosion in the explosion, same time. Yeah. But it's, uh, as you see, it's very smooth, not like uh, yeah. sharp. But it's always like smooth lines. Mm -hmm. That's because uh, before these explosions happened, it was like a big inner lake here, like yeah. an inner sea. Uh, during explosions, it can go up to like 400 degrees Celsius. So uh, when it starts cooling down, oh. at first cracks formed yeah. on the surfaces. Mm. So uh, during these a few million years, there were really hard rains. So they uh, come together, form some rivers. Uh, these kind of structures that we call the fairy chimneys. Yes. Why they have this shape? Like yeah. uh, they have the cone on the top. Yes. Uh, usually their cone part is a harder stone, like a kind of basalt stone, volcanic. So this is hard and heavy. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's harder to erode. And on the bottom part, uh, it's like well welded ashes together. Mm -hmm. So it's also uh, strong against the erosion. So with the heavy stone on top, it's uh, basically like squeezes in between. Mm. So the erosion goes on the sides, so ah, they can uh, stay like sharp. Yeah. If you look at the hills, like uh, over the high places, yeah. Yeah. you can see like new formations. Ah, so those will be separated. Okay. So those will be the new fairy ah, okay, so yes, yeah. It's not gonna die. Like it's a yeah. uh, so very evolve. slow process. Yeah, new ones will form. Mm -hmm. uh, old ones will die. So they have. Uh, their stages, yeah. like baby fairy chimneys, older ones, uh, depending on their erosion levels. Mm -hmm. yes. It's a bit foggy. Yeah. Uh, that's the Argeus mountain, which is closer to Kayseri. Uh, that's also an uh, ex-volcano. Uh, last time it exploded was 10,000 years ago. Right. Uh, but it doesn't mean it won't explode again also. Yeah. The yeah. geologists mm -hmm. say that uh, really? recently there is some activity. So where are mountain. the volcanoes located? Uh, like these see? calderons are really big, so when really? it was like millions of years ago, okay. so when they explode, it's just uh, very flat, so yeah. you can't yeah. really like you see. You can't like really see. You can uh -huh. see from the like satellite yes. uh, views, like so the just cracks. Like, mm -hmm. That's really quite informative because I really want to know why, how these, how? you know, been formed. Been formed. Yeah. It's also so it makes volcanic like eruption. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's makes uh, time to explore.
dito sa beautiful landscape sa location na to may mga souvenir area din yan nagtitinda sila ng kung anik anik hats mga pottery oh meron orange juice mga juice at mga carpets keychains Rugs. Daming nagtutour tour dito. Ang cute ng souvenir na ito, balloon. May maliit. May mga sitting area kung gusto nyo umupo-upo, mag-relax. May private too like us, Uh, so today's program, I want to go first to Clara because like I will arrange it, mm -hmm. try to escape from the crowds. Yeah. Uh, okay. So after here, we will have a bit longer drive. It's about an hour. <gasps> yeah. Uh, we will go down, Going down to the valley, but we will have a nice uh, view. view. Of that view. First. Very good. Uh, it's like 300 steps going down, but it's not steep, like it's, it's turning mm -hmm. around. And then afterwards, we will be in the river bed. So it's more shady, nicer mm -hmm. walk. Uh, we will walk, walk by the river around four kilometers mm -hmm. and then after we exit the park uh, we will have our restaurant so we will have a lunch break lunch. there also in between the walk uh, there is a cafeteria on the midway mm -hmm. uh, yes. we can also have a stop there for a drinks and Coffee. you can also sit inside the river if you want to mm. put your oh, feet yes. inside the water there are seatings in there oh, cool. yes. uh, yes. after that uh, we will after our lunch uh, we will drive a short drive like 10 minutes uh, we will see the Selime monastery which is like a uphill complex uh, it's been an old monastery mm -hmm. and some uh, several parts inside so we, uh, we will stop on the Kaimakla underground city yeah. uh, which is like the second biggest one uh, but if you ask me it's much more interesting really? like it has yeah. the tunnels uh, the other one the Rinkuyu is uh, bigger and deeper but it's like uh, most of the time you just go steep, down, down, uh, down. down and then you come back from the same way it's okay. not interesting uh, so Kaimakla is uh, much more interesting uh, we will stop by the Pigeon Valley yes. town mm -hmm. uh, and also we will visit the Onyx workshop mm -hmm. okay. and at the end of the day uh, also I want you to get to, to a place uh, which they, they make uh, local things for us uh, so we will make a little tasting okay. ah. local products, Turkish like delight uh, nuts, <laughs> Turkish delight, <laughs> uh, dry <laughs> food a lot of specialties yeah. there is uh, one special thing they only produce here what is it? uh, it's like the apricot, dry apricots inside ah, yeah. and outside is covered with chocolate like little oh, chips okay. uh, like all the apricots are also uh, growing very Grown well here, here. Yeah. Yeah. A second stop is yeah, Ilara Valley. Ilara Valley. Ilara. One hour. 